I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be like whenever I walk out, people are just gonna automatically sing it. In my hometown, I didn't. It's just when I used to fight in Milwaukee, and people walk out, it'd just be like that. And I'd walk out, and then everybody would just started. I'm like, Did y'all, somebody put y'all up to this? <laughs> oh, dang. What's going on, man? How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. I just won in a minute, so I'm I can't. You know, I'm on cloud nine. I mean, how'd you feel about that performance? It was only a minute. <laughs> I feel good. You know, I feel really good. Um, at the same time. I'm, I'm complacent because I can't let it get above me, you know what I mean? Because it, in order to be a champion, like I've said before, I have to expect those to happen. I, I, asked, I, I said to John, I was like, I can't believe exactly what we worked on just worked just now in a minute. And he was like, I can, you know, but that's the thing. You have to, I have to start believing it because once I, I said before, I want to be a champion and I have to obliterate everybody that comes in front of me in order to prove that I am championship material. What was the game plan going into this fight? That. <laughs> Literally that. That. John and I have been working that move for eight months, damn near. Um, we knew it was going to be, uh, it wasn't going to be like a combo finish. It was going to be either, um, you know, catch him when he comes in, pop shots. Pop him with a two, pop him with a counter hook, pop him with a jab. It was going to be one or the other. It was something like that. Or it was going to be a, I thought it was going to be a flying knee at one point, you know, but... You know, that's, how, that's the fight game. You don't know what it's going to be. That's why I try to keep my mind open on any possibilities of winning. So d does it make the win that much better and, and, and you love it more because you've been working on that for so long and it came, came through and knocked this dude out? Oh, absolutely, because anybody can go in there and bite down your mouthpiece and fight. It's hard to go in there and trust what you and your coach have been working on and just relax and let it come. That's, that's the part about being a champion. You have to trust that. That's the process that not a lot of people do. As soon as they get out there, they're like, ah, forget everything I worked on. I'm just going to do what I do. You know, but I I've, I've said to myself, I was just like, all right, be confident in God and be relaxed. And everything you and John worked on will come. Just, and he was saying it behind me, and I was just saying the same thing. So it was like, you know, it just worked. It worked. I couldn't have asked for a better finish. Uh, on media day, you said that you, 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 you wouldn't let the main card, being bumped on the main card, get, get into your mind because last time you were on the main card, mm. you lost. You got on the main card, got this violent finish, probably a shoe in for a $50,000 check. Like, what, what does that mean to you? <sighs> I can't really put it into words, honestly. Um, like I said, the journey has been rough. You know, it's been a long time coming, and it's just, like, now that I'm, I'm not saying that I'm here, because when you say you're here, it means this is my resting place. This is, I'm, this, isn't, I'm not, this is not the stop. I don't get off the bus. Me and John are still on the bus, because we're going, the bus is heading to the belt. You know what I'm saying? We're still on the bus. We're just taking a pit stop bathroom break right now, um, knocking people out until we get to where we got to go. But it means, it means the world to me. And like I said, I'm a huge believer in God, and I, I, I couldn't have done it without putting my faith in Christ. And my strength comes from Jesus. You know, I remember as a kid, I had these books. I had these books as a kid. Um, I would open these books up, and it would be, I was telling Jerry, it would be, it would be pictures of Jesus as a kid, you know, I was, um, multiplying bread and feeding fishes, feeding fish and bread to people. And, you know, I always thought as a kid, like, wow, that, that's amazing. This man is, is so kind and so humble. And, you know, that's why I, you see me after I win my fight. I, I, you know, I try to do the same thing Jesus does. You know, I, don't try to, I try not to brag and boast. I try to let my hands do the talking, and then... Um, shouldn't be anything else left to, say, left to be said. And so with that being said, I want to use, I've realized that Jesus has always been in my life since I was a child, and I want to use him to shine that positive light. There's so much war, so much of this, that, and the other thing going on in the world, man. We, we need more, more positivity. Like We got too many uh, Colbys and Stricklands and Connors, which we need. Don't, fans, don't jump on me. We need it. I'm just saying we also need more iriness, more Jamaica and bobsled. You know what I mean? We need more of that. We need, we need more of this. Uh, you had a name locked and loaded, Jeff Molina, who fought on this card. Um, what about that matchup excites you? And uh, when, when would you like that matchup to take place? Well, I think Jeff Molina is a great stand-up fighter, and he's an exciting fighter. And I think I'm, you know, a decent enough stand-up fighter. <laughs> so... I think the fans would want to see it, and I think it would be a great banger out there for everybody to, to, to watch. I think that, that I couldn't have asked for a better call-out. I was like, that makes perfect sense. And he fought the exact night I did, so we both 
have the exact same time to prepare, you know? So let's, let's run it, man. I'm down with that. Absolutely, absolutely. And finally for me, can't really see your hair, but there's some color in it. Yeah, What'd you do? Look, look. Hey, that's all uh, Tian, man. She, I did, I did the, Jamaican, the Jamaican colors, obviously, you know what I mean? I had to put a little Jamaican flair. And, you know, shout out to all of my, all of my Jamaican brothers out there, all my Jamaican fighters, Al Jermaine Sterling, Rude Brown, Randy Brown, um, Leon Edwards, um, uh, Uriah Hall, you know, all, all the Jamaican fighters in the UFC, we're becoming a problem and people are going to start sleeping on us, but everybody knows that Jamaican, Jamaican athletes, they're, they're on the come up, they're on the rise, and we are it. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats on the win, my man. I almost feel shortchanged because you practically guaranteed flying knees. I didn't get my flying knees. I know. It was going to come at a minute and 10. The minute and 10 mark didn't see. The minute and 10 mark didn't quite get here. But next time. All right. And you said strategy. So what did you guys see on tape? What did the team see that you guys practiced that, that counter right? Is that what you were talking about? The yeah. So honestly, I never watch film on my opponents because I feel like people watch too many films and they get too, in, they too, they get too caught up in what their opponent's going to do. And I know in all well and good, I'm going to go out there and do what I want to do. Otherwise, I start worrying about this. I start worrying about that. I'm like, nah, man, I'm going to go out there and do what I want to do. But John Wood watched all the film, and he just, I trust what he said. And you know what I mean? He said, he's going to come in, he's going to wait, 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 and then come in big and swing. You know, and literally, when I tell you everything that John Wood said he did, and um, I just was patient. You know, usually after that first kick, when he kicked me, I would have, like, usually been like, mm, I got to get that back. But, you know, I, got, I, had to, I had to tame my ego down a little bit. I had to put the ego in the, in the pot and put the lid on just for a little bit. You know what I mean? Because I, I always want to kill, always. But this time I was like, all right, wait for the kill. John was even saying in the back, he's like, he'll finish himself, you know. So uh, um, it goes to show, like I said, man, like John Wood. Thanks, John. He's, he's just a really, really good coach. And he knows what he's talking about. Very... Very well-rounded. Um, you know, he's got a face only a mother could love, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you can get past his looks, he's he's a good coach. All right. Well, I'm glad that doesn't. The, the it's all there. It's called coming to. Yeah. If we don't get the Jeff Molina fight, who else is on your radar? Because off of this, when you know you're gonna, people want to see you real quick. Turn around. Literally anybody, anybody, literally anybody. <laughs> I have the hardest time finding opponents. You know, it's like everybody. Um, like I said before, I'm, in, I'm at this like limbo where I'm not ranked, but I'm too dangerous. Like what? What the hell? You know what I mean? I, I don't get, think I get this that. win helps. This win definitely helps. This win definitely helps. So fighters avoid me because, like I said, I'm. It's not worth it for them. I don't know what that means. And I've constantly my my whole career just having fighters pull out or saying no. So if I don't get the Molina fight, literally anybody. But the reporter did say that Jeff Molina said that he wanted the winner of this fight. So, that's perfect. And that could be your nickname, High Risk, Low Reward. High Risk, no, Low Reward. <laughs> and uh, you mentioned lastly, just for fun, how big boxing is in Jamaica. How do you see that unification going with Devin Haney and Cambosos? I have no idea. I don't even know who that is. Oh. <laughs> Man, I don't have TV. I, I, I was teaching for the last six years. And then I moved out here in Vegas. Like, I haven't had time to watch. Like, this year has been the first year that I just started following UFC. You know, so, um, yeah, I have no idea. All good, man. It's student of the game. That's what makes you so good. Respect. Thank you. I appreciate Congrats it. Congrats on the big win, my man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So one stupid question. So if you just got TV, what, what are you watching on TV? What TV shows have you just found out about? Well, you, I don't want to tell you. Um, <clears throat> so I heard that Bridgerton was a good show. I liked it. <laughs> I could hey, it. real men watch Bridgerton, my coach back there. Real, real men watch Bridgerton. And uh, Ted Lasso, also a good show. Good show. And if, you like, if, you, if you're a fan of Jamaica, big, big, uh, big Shatas, this is also a good show. Shatas, good show. I haven't seen that one. I'll have to check that one out. Check it out. <laughs> Congrats on the victory. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.